Welcome to another Goody Reader comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we're going to check out the fundamental differences between two competing technologies. On the left hand side we have the Jetbook Color with E-Ink Triton and on the right hand side we have the Pocketbook 912 showcasing E-Ink Pearl. We're going to show you ebooks, comic books, and newspapers to basically show you the pros and cons out of each device. We'll throw in our two cents, but you can make your decision for yourself on what you think looks a little bit better. We have the same book here, Night Road by Kristen Hanna, and you can see on the pocket book, which is e-ink pearl, that on her cheeks it looks pretty good. Whereas if you look at our cheeks here, it looks a little bit blurry and pixelated. It also sh sh does that on the horizon as well but it's not as noticeable here. Okay, so let's uh, change, uh, let's just change uh, the page here. Both of these devices have very slow page turning speeds. They're not the fastest, they're displaying a very large amount of text and um, it's just basically a lot for the device to work through every time you press that page turn button. Yeah. So here's, you know, let's just change it to part one right here. And without editing anything, without changing anything, you can see that both of these are showing the exact same text. You can almost see that the pocketbook is showing a little bit more text. You can see here that it finishes off here long, and this cuts it off. I think it cuts it off about there. So it shows a little bit more text here. And you, you know, like Peter mentioned, the page turn speeds on both devices are pretty woefully slow in comparison to a lot of six inch e readers that have e ink pearls, such as uh, Amazon Kindle, uh, Barnes and Noble Simple Touch Reader, uh, even uh, the Kobo Touch. What type of uh, functionality do we have, Peter, as far as uh, tailoring our ebook experience from device to device? Well, on the uh, Jetbook Color here, you can press the menu and you can see everything's in a neat organized list. You can change stylus mode, change the zoom. Um, let's just go zoom because this is probably the one thing that will uh, decide how you want your text to appear. You can tell that there's not really any margins, settings, or anything like that. It's just a very generic zoom. And it doesn't really change live. You have to go back into it every time to adjust it. So there's not really that much to the functions on um, the Jetbook Color. Although you can uh, you can highlight text. And uh, once again, this is a very slow device. You have to be patient with it. If you just press and hold a letter. It's not showing up. And that's one of the drawbacks about new technology like this. I mean, it's no slant against e ink Triton, but it's more of like how the Jetbook and Ectaco is employing all of this. So both of these devices don't really let you change um, like the fonts line spaces, margins. They basically both just have zooming features. So um if you're looking for devices that have like a little bit more control over your ebook reading experience, you might want to check out um, a six inch e-reader. I've really noticed that with the large screen devices, they don't really let you change a lot of your features. And uh, I know people like to have a little bit more control over their ebook reading experience, but we can see for ourselves that both of the screens in an e-ink capacity look about the same. Page turn speeds are about the same. Uh, it's more about the color and we're going to show you next the color experience found in a comic book. And uh, we're going to load up simply uh, a Star Wars comic. You can see that it does take a little bit of time on, on both of these devices. Now it's it's the comic experience that's that's really going to shine, and it's really going to kind of give you a distinction between both devices. So uh, here's the same cover art. 
not really formatted that well on this. Yeah. Let's uh, turn a page. Okay, so here's full screen. So maybe we can try zooming just to kind of tailor it. It's already fit to page, let's try 100. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, there we go. That's about as best as uh, we can get it. So you can see here, I think it definitely looks a little bit better on the Jetbook Color than the Pocketbook. I mean, the color aside, I think that it is higher resolution. And I think that's mainly because when the Jetbook Color and E-Ink Triton are displaying full color mode, the resolution is greatly enhanced. You're looking at about 1600 by 1200 versus the Pocketbook 912, which is 825 by 1200. So the resolution is definitely kicked up a notch and you can really see for yourself. Um, I would say so as well. Uh, I mean, the resolution, everything's very smooth on this. And this is a very recent comic. It's about, well, not very recent, but it is this decade. It's about 08, 09 kind of thing. So uh, we're not dealing with any old, comic books or anything like that this is definitely um, vivid colors so it's displaying itself very nice as well as it can on e-ink and uh, I pressed the page turn about three seconds ago and I don't know why it's not doing anything these are very very you have to be very patient with these devices it's actually not doing anything at all okay so this is basically like the comic book experience and um, Page the page. There we go. Oh, 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 there, oh, uh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> All right. So, okay, we tried and we gave you sort of an indication of what uh, comics look like here. And you can see that the Jetbo color is, is fairly woefully slow. So it does have the benefits of full color, but it definitely warrants an exercise of patience, to say the least. Uh, let's just check out how the PDF experience looks like on a newspaper. And we're going to load up an open source newspaper here, the World News. So here's the menu here. Um, I would say probably this looks a little bit crisper, you know, looking at, at the menu from side to side. I think it looks a little bit better. Not really the best use of color in this sense, but yes, this does look um, far more uh, smoothed over, I would say. Yeah, for sure. So this is basically with PDFs especially and much like ebooks that it doesn't really have any reflow on each device you can only basically change the zoom level it doesn't have pinching and zooming format uh, the jetbook color really needs the stylus at all times so you may want to make sure that you don't lose it we lost it for about half an hour and we couldn't really do anything with it so uh, that's basically it there and that's about it all in all, um, I think that the they're both touchscreen, they're both uh, 9.7 inch um, e large e-readers, but I think all in all, the Jetbook Color is just, it's too slow for what it tries to do. It's just doing so much, and I don't really think it can handle it. I mean, it's very evident that this are, these are very simple uh, applications we're executing here. It's very, very simple steps. We're opening very small four, 400 KB books and it just takes forever. It's just, it's too slow for what it has to do. I believe it should have been a lot faster for, you know, having a full color e-ink screen. I don't know. 
I agree. And primarily, we're just uh, looking at uh, the ebook experience with these devices. We're not trying to, to compare uh, what's underneath the hood, uh, speaker level, uh, functionality, and things like that. Pretty well, you're buying these devices just to read. And so this is really the purpose of, of this comparison. We're comparing the screen technologies and not really uh, what's underneath the hood. OK, this is a good example. You could really see for yourself that how this looks and then how sort of that looks. I really think that when it comes to color material, nothing really beats like eating train. I think just the quality of resolution looks amazing and there really isn't any large screen e-reader uh, on the market that can really beat this in terms of when you look at things that have graphical elements I think e-ink triton is far superior to e-ink pearl when it comes to just uh, the the normal e-book uh, experience when you saw when we looked at Kristen Hanna and Night Road it pretty well looked the same you know the same types of features in, in terms of editing your your fonts and and how the books looked but when we started looking at like comic books and now the monster manual you really see the difference. It's crisper, it's cleaner, it shows more pixels, and that's about it. So we'll leave it up to you guys to decide which one that you think is better. You can leave a comment on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodereader. And this has been a comparison of the Taco Jackbook Color against the Pocketbook 912 for goodereader.com. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And everybody take care.